let's continue. This is the fourth uh, one. And I will try to summarize uh, so I won't go any further or could be another one. Uh, in Canada, I, uh, I had an internship and, uh, and part-time residency uh, in neurosurgery. Uh, and uh, basically, I did a diploma in public health at the University of Toronto uh, that was, uh, which is equivalent to master in public health. This way I got uh, my PhD uh, in Madrid University uh, in uh, preventive and social medicine with the rate of excellence. I got a diploma in public health from the University of Toronto, which is equivalent to master in public health, uh, I believe in 1974. Uh, in 1974, uh, 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 I came uh, to the United States, to North Dakota, uh, to write uh, exam in Colflex, uh, Federal National Examination, something like that. And the reason I came to the United States, because I felt there is more opportunities in the United States than in Canada. Uh, and once I arrived uh, in uh, Carrington, uh, North Dakota, uh, I, uh, I uh, wrote the exam uh, and I passed it uh, and when uh, that day I remember was a frontier day uh, when people are coming out with their, uh, with their horses, the cows and stuff like that. That impressed me a lot, especially I saw it in, uh, uh, in uh, western movies and so on. So I was so impressed that I decided to stay in Carrington. North Dakota. I stayed for about a year and a half and, uh, and uh, then I decided uh, to go uh, and look for a wife uh, and that uh, when I joined uh, a trade mission headed by uh, the governor at the time was Arthur Link. Uh, he went to uh, back, he went to Jordan. He passed, uh, he passed through Egypt. I joined him in Egypt and he met with Anwar Sadat though I was not uh, myself involved and from there we went to, uh, through Lebanon uh, when the uh, guerrilla, uh, the guerrilla uh, organization, the Palestinians were really the ones who were running the, uh, the uh, airport and so on. Uh, we stopped there for a short while and then we uh, went to Jordan. And uh, during the time they were visiting Jordan, looking at historical facts, I was looking for a while. <laughs> and, uh, and I in charge a friend of mine to look for a wife for me. Uh, he was a teacher and, he, uh, and a journalist, so he had a lot of uh, uh, information. Uh, so when I arrived, I, he told me, well, he have at least four or five for me uh, to uh, meet. Uh, of course, according to the traditional, uh, you don't go and, uh, and date uh, and so on because they will not go out with you, they simply present you as somebody coming from outside and you know indirectly he's looking for a wife, he will not uh, tell it that frankly and after I uh, saw all of them uh, in a matter of days, maybe two days, uh, then uh, he asked me what? I said I love them all, well how can I choose, <laughs> you know? Uh, then I told him, look, I'm not going to choose any. I will go to Syria. I'll go to Syria because I remember uh, there was uh, my, uh, my teacher. Uh, his name is Ali. Uh, and he had uh, a daughter, which was uh, later on became my wife. I wanted just to see her, to meet with her. And that's when I went uh, uh, to Dara. Uh, it's called Dara. It is right on the border between Jordan and Syria. It's only, uh, it's right, uh, the city is, is maybe about uh, one or two miles only. And, uh, and I was there, when I arrived there, uh, they, uh, then I told, uh, I looked at her, she was, she was really beautiful, uh, she was finishing high school, uh, and I asked for her hand from her father. Uh, he died last year, God bless his soul. And when uh, I, he asked me, uh, just wait a minute, he is going to consult with her. And within 15 minutes, he came back and he said, congratulations, she accepted. And then we shook hands and we read Al-Fatiha, the opening of the Quran, uh, as a 
sign of uh, respect and so on. And uh, after that, we have to go to uh, the justice of the peace. And we wanted to get married in Jordan rather in Syria. And that we went two days later uh, to Jordan and we did the, uh, the uh, what we call it, uh, the uh, formal or before the form of marriage, uh, which is basically a consent between both of us with the dowry, how much I'll give her a gift and so on. And her brother, he's the one came with us to give her hand because that is uh, traditionally either the father or the brother. And we did, however, we were not allowed still to touch each other because it's, uh, though we are married legally, but uh, traditionally we have to have a big wedding, which is going to be done in Syria. And, uh, and the following day, indeed, I went back uh, to Syria. Uh, and, uh, and unfortunately, when I tried to go there and pick her and bring her back to Jordan, I was told by the Syrian I was not allowed to go in. When I asked why, uh, they mentioned because my name was uh, as if I was security to the Syrian government because was I opposing, because I have uh, some Islamic views against the Ba'ath party, the same party as President Saddam Hussein had, but it's different branch. So I went back, what to do? So I went back to the Syrian embassy in Amman, Jordan, and asked him what to do. I have to get my wife. Uh, he said, sorry because he has to send all the papers to Syria, which will take about five to six days. There is no way. Though the only way to get her out was her father to bring her to Jordanian heart. And unfortunately, her father could not come to Jordan because he was also an opposition to Jordan King Hussein. You can see the tremendous <coughs> trouble among those uh, Arab governments, Arab leaders, who are dictators, uh, have dictatorship, they are corrupt, uh, those, uh, uh, though the, the people are basically the same, just like compare like Washington State with Oregon. They are the same people, same culture, same religion, same language, but those corrupt leaders are the ones who are holding power at any kind. And please tell me. We continue, so after her father was unable to bring her in, uh, I came with an official uh, Jordanian uh, government car and we waited in the outside, which is less than a half uh, a mile. No, the one who brought her in was her uncle. His name was Malik. And when she arrived, uh, we got together, we went back to the hotel. As a matter of fact, the only five-star hotel was at that time in Amman, Jordan. This 1976. Now there are at least 20 uh, five-star hotels. Uh, and, uh, and that same night, uh, I, there was a very big reception for the delegation from North Dakota, that red mission. Uh, and, uh, and then I suddenly I brought my wife to introduce her as my wife. They say, what happened? You were with us. Uh, how did you get a wife in a matter of days? I said, this is, uh, this is culture. Uh, I asked him, do you think I should experiment <laughs> with a girl, with friends here, you know? Uh, I told him, sometimes you have a girlfriend here uh, for years, you know, and suddenly when they get married, they divorce right away because they did not know each other. Uh, because uh, it's in our culture. Uh, the girl, they do not date. Uh, they don't go out, you know, something like that. And for them, freedom is rare to get married. And they are very decent, very good. So I was very happy with my wife. 